ABC Dior. ABC Dior invites you to explore the letter E, which stands for España, and the bonds that unite this country with the house. From Christian Dior to Maria Grazia Curie, this sun-kissed nation, with its breadth of cultural heritage, has established itself as an enduring source of inspiration. I liked to feel like a Spaniard on the forecourts of the yellow and green churches perched on the top of the hills, Christian Dior noted in his memoirs. As a gallery owner, he exhibited the paintings of his friends, including Juan Miró, Pablo Picasso and Salvador Dali, just some of the pluralistic artistic affinities that shaped the couturier's creative vision. Starting in autumn-winter 1948, Monsieur Dior expressed his fascination for Spain with a dress called Pompelune. Many others would follow, infused with the memory of the places through which he travelled, Andorre, Madrid and Barcelona, or celebrating an exceptional festive and religious heritage with Paca Seville, Feta Grenade and Bala Seville. For spring-summer 1955 haute couture, he affirmed his fondness for the destination by unveiling the collection for the first time in Madrid. A few years later in 1959, Yves Saint Laurent, then creative director of the house, attended the presentation of his own Dior collection in the magnificent galleries of the Prado Museum in Madrid, while Marc Bohan, in 1967, travelled the country further nourishing these fruitful exchanges. In 2007, John Galliano turned to his own Iberian origins for his Bal des Artistes Haute Couture collection. In an exhilarating ode to the Spanish fiesta, a flamenco group joined the designer as he emerged to take his bow dressed as a bullfighter. Maria Grazia Curie in turn headed to Spain for the Dior Cruise 2023 show. Presented in Seville on the majestic Plaza de España, the show paid homage to the ferias. This unique event was a celebration of artistic encounters and collective performances, expressions of a sense of sharing and osmosis. In this grandiose setting pulsing with the power of flamenco, nearly 50 Andalusian dancers kicked off the festivities to the sounds devised by Alberto Iglesias, composer of music for the films of Pedro Almodovar. Developed by the Franco-Spanish choreographer Blanca Lee, this magnetic performance unfurled simultaneously with the unveiling of the new collection. It was a fervent tribute to the iconic figure of Carmen Amaya, the pioneering dancer known as La Capitana, and a key inspiration for the collection. Expressions of Spanish folklore are reinvented in the collection through the singularity of the Dior Allure. These different reinterpretations illustrate Maria Grazia Curie's desire to celebrate the richness of craftsmanship balancing heritage with modernity. To accomplish this, she worked closely with several local ateliers, possessing a virtuoso savoir-faire. From fashion to beauty, Spanish elegance has influenced all aspects of the house since its beginnings. In the 1960s, advertisements for Miss Dior, Diorissimo and the iconic Dior lipstick graced the covers and pages of national magazines like Hola and ABC. Writing a new chapter, Peter Phillips revisited this Andalusian grace for the Dior Cruise 2023 show in a bewitching interplay of shadow and light for the model's smoky eyes, while the dancer's red lips echoed the red roses decorating the Plaza de España as well as looks in the collection itself. Spain has been a source of perpetual fascination for the house's various creative directors, representing a poetic invitation to escape and pursue the eternal dream of travel.